All right, just uh, to be clear, uh, Doreen here uh, is the main speaker today. I'll just give a short introduction about what the KNVB is doing and why we're even here. Uh, and after that, uh, Doreen will go uh, more into the content about what World Coaches is and what the KNVB is doing in developing countries. Um, your first question, why is the KNVB here? Uh, which is a good question. The KNVB is uh, the Royal Netherlands Football Association. And yeah, besides uh, organizing the competition uh, here in the Netherlands, uh, we're also doing things in the development cooperation sector. And uh, we're doing that through uh, the program, which is called World Coaches. And uh, through the World Coaches program, the KNVB is educating coaches in developing countries, in Africa, uh, in, in Asia, in uh, uh, Southern America, uh, all over the world. And not only on football, but also on life skills. And that's uh, the, the, the main focus of, of the international department. And uh, we're doing that through various programs, amongst others. Uh, the Football for Water program, also Sport for Development, Club Linking, several programs where we're working in developing countries to educate coaches in NGOs, clubs, in schools, uh, to, to train them to be a coach and to teach children about football and about life skills. Uh, the second question, why are we here and what is the connection with ACFO? Well, the main connection with ACFO is through the Football for Water program. Uh, in the Football for Water program, the KNVB is working together with UNICEF, Vitens Evides, Simavi, but also uh, ACFO for All colleagues here, and ACFO. And in the program, we are uh, focusing on schools in Ghana, Kenya, and Mozambique. Uh, to educate world coaches on these schools, uh, together with uh, installing uh, water and sanitation facilities on these schools. So the coaches are there to give the, the, the children uh, the means to, uh, to have the good behavior uh, around these facilities, and the other partners are there to, uh, to install the facilities. And ACFO is one of the partners uh, in which we are using uh, the flow, uh, tool and also the RSR tool, so to give updates on a regular basis on what uh, activities are uh, going on in, uh, in the countries, and that's the main connection why we're here. And um, Doreen uh, is uh, yeah, uh, my role model as well, uh, one of our world coaches, and she will tell more about uh, what she is doing in the communities and what, what really the strength is of football uh, in the development cooperation sector. So uh, go ahead, Doreen. <coughs> Thank you, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Odds. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as the, the World Coaches Program uh, focuses mainly on uh, training and educating coaches, uh, tra uh, trainers, teachers, and also profession former professional football players locally and also in developing countries, as you've heard from Odds. And uh, some of these countries include Suriname, Kenya, South Africa, Ghana, Mozambique, and also Zambia, among others. And um, as well, <coughs> sorry, yeah, the KNVB uh, World Coaches Program has over, for over 12 years successfully trained coaches and trainers in these uh, countries that I've just mentioned. Its curriculum does not only involve as well, coaching as a well, uh, giving technical football technical trainings but also life skills and uh, this includes creating awareness on HIV and AIDS and related issues personal hygiene through the football for water project and wash program which is uh, water sanitation and hygiene and also how to avoid uh, crime and criminal activities that is taught to our players and um, this shows that uh, football indeed is a, is a developing factor also to bring about social change and also uh, achieve a healthy community. Um, besides that, uh, football has proven in these communities to be a unifying factor, bringing several people from different uh, backgrounds. Because, for instance, in Kenya we have uh, about 42 uh, ethnic groups and languages. So through football in the community, we can there are uh, tribes which at some point conflict with each other, but through the game of football, we manage to bring kids from these backgrounds together to just uh, to achieve a certain uh, goal and just have fun, play together, and learn different things in the field of uh, life skills and uh, kind of socially and just to integrate with one another and achieve a healthy community in interacting and stuff. 
Uh, another important factor of uh, the K World Coaches Program is the women empowerment. That's where people like me come in. The, the program has given women in these developing countries uh, equal chances and opportunities to participate and also learn and get educated on coaching as well as teaching life skills to the youth and uh, players we work with from daily basis. And uh, through the women uh, programs, Women coaches and uh, all over the, the developing countries have immensely achieved and gained self-confidence and uh, knowledge, skills needed to, 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 to educate other young ones in the, in the society and also the, the teams that we coach and also schools which we visit and these are formal and informal schools where we carry out these activities. In Kenya, for instance, there's a, a project I started together with another world coach who is currently on, on duty in Tanzania. This project is called Girls Unlimited, and uh, Girls Unlimited is a CBO which uses football to, to, create, uh, and to create social networking and also bring about social change within the, the community. So Girls Unlimited mainly uses football to, uh, whereby we, we do football clinics in schools and also on the community level and kind of integrate them uh, with life skills. Our activity most of the time include, okay, we would set up uh, as a simple football drill, let's say a 4v4 game, whereby <coughs> it's a normal possession game and in this drill it will involve both a life skill and a football skills where the players are going to learn both at the same time. I will use uh, maybe two examples. One, I will take maybe a play one player makes the wrong decisions and, de and decides to hold on to the ball instead of passing to another player where maybe it could have earned them a point and chooses to go solo maybe with the ball and maybe make the team lose a point. If this kid, we, we would then freeze the moment and try to explore with the player how best she could, he or she could have done to help his team or her team earn a point. And if the kid could be able to understand that and uh, carry it out further in a better way, the kid could as well remember this off the field whereby he could learn or she could learn to team up with other players or friends or even family simply in the, on the community level. And he, could be, he or she could learn to make wise and better decisions for him or herself, whereby she could learn to lead a normal and safe life rather than maybe staying, straying and doing and engaging in vices, for example, whereby there will be groups or peer groups where he could lead, uh, could lead him or her into uh, the dangers of crime and criminal activities instead of, let's say, doing the right thing at the right time, which is school, and maybe after school when you have less time, you use it for doing homework. Another example also would be in a normal match. Football is a team sport. It's not an individual game. So I would also use the example of a, a player who thinks, who prefers doing this on an individual way, and maybe he thinks or she thinks when I get the ball, I can easily dribble by myself and try to score, not realizing that he or she has another 10 colleagues that he or she can use to earn her team or his team a point. Then if this player could learn that he or she needs the team to achieve the common goal, which is winning this football match, then equally he could or she could use this off the field, or off the field whereby we need each other in the community. That's our way of doing things in the where we come from. We need each other in the community to, uh, to, to, to raise awareness on various issues affecting us or simply sharing some challenges that we may be facing and together we can come up with a concrete solution to, to solving our problems instead of keeping it to myself and then maybe never getting a solution to it and maybe multiplying the problem itself. So that is basically what we teach. And then the female uh, football coaches under the World Coaches uh, Program are equally role models. We lead by example, we set the pace for others. When we teach, when we are on, in the fields with our players, we make sure that we set the best examples for them to follow and also try to encourage them to, and, and mold them to becoming also future role models and 
develop leadership skills that they can as well use to pass on to others and to the next gener generations. Uh, this also shows that uh, besides uh, being a football coach on the field, we are also teachers and kind of uh, teaching on how to balance both uh, life skills and football skills that can both be integrated to build a healthy community. Yeah, and uh, another thing is that uh, the KNVB World Coaches Program uh, works with uh, local projects and uh, partners within uh, the Netherlands and also in Africa. And um, these are CBOs and some uh, big organizations like Nike's and also some big organizations. Yeah. Thank you. Are there any questions? Any question? Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. Um, I was wondering, I, was, I clearly see the, the relationship between uh, being a team player and, um, uh, and football. Ah, thank you. <laughs> but I was wondering, um, how would you switch to HIV or, or water while you're playing a game? OK, uh, I would give an instance whereby we Okay, when we are doing like uh, a drill and we want to teach something in terms of uh, HIV and AIDS awareness, we could use a simple, like we could put it in a warm up maybe, and then we just play like kind of like we, we divide into groups and then you can put cons in between and there's a limit where you can go mm -hmm. and uh, where you cannot go. Or we can simply uh, use a, a, a somehow a grid drill you just like in a group you're six people and then you go you don't know you don't know me i don't know you and then you just go greeting people and then you just shake hands this could mean that maybe i'm infected mm -hmm. HIV, with H hiv and then i come to you you don't know me i don't know you and somehow through that i, I managed to convince you to go with me and already when I, you give me your hand without even me having introduced myself and kind of having a small conversation whereby we could be comfortable and get to know each other better. And I take you, I go with, you ac agree to go with me, then somehow I pass it on to you. Mm -hmm. So we somehow get to put a boundary and, to, and uh, try to explore it with the players. Like for example, without telling them if such a thing would happen, what are your chances of getting infected and what are your chances of not getting infected? And if the players can get to understand that, then we discuss it further with them. Is there some sort of program that every time you play, um, you, you, t you touch upon a new team? Or it just comes on spontaneously, the coach? Or does you really need to touch upon several teams, several issues? Yeah, it, uh, it doesn't come uh, up spontaneously, yeah. as you say. But of course, it is a, f a game of contact. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you move, you dribble, you juggle, you do whatever, but you come in contact with other people. And no. Yes, yeah. Or how do you mean? You cut it short a bit, I'm afraid. OK. Sorry. Yeah. You can finish your last question. Yeah. No, I just mean, are there several teams that you touch upon? Like every time you play, then the first time, for example, you talk about hygiene, the second time about HIV? Yes, or yeah. Oh, you meant topics. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we teach different topics. Uh, like there's, there's a manual here. Ah, OK. It has both from crime, HIV, AIDS, awareness, and other health issues, yeah. as well as uh, ways on how you can add proper uh, hygiene and stuff. So we have different drills and different games and different topics that we tackle every day. Okay. Sorry Thank for you. that. That's yeah, clear yeah,